Hello, everyone. Welcome to the course of Fundamentals of IoT, in short, FIOT. In today's class, we are going to learn about introduction to Arduino programming with respect to Arduino IDE. So in the previous session, we have already seen what are the different types of Arduino boards and actually what is an Arduino Uno and its features and so on like. Now, in this video, we are going to learn how uh, we should use this particular Arduino IDE or the Arduino software, okay, where Arduino itself, as the name indicates, you already know, it's a development board, okay, which comes on an onboard microcontroller and the software name also itself is an Arduino board in order to write a program and in order to upload the code into that particular development board. So, IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. So we are creating an environment in the form of a software such that we will be writing a program or uh, some set of instructions, okay? Once the program has been written in this particular sketch, okay, that program can be uploaded directly to the Arduino development board, whatever the model it may be, by simply connecting to the PC or a laptop with a small cable, okay? So let's see how the Arduino uh, IDE can be installed as well as implemented. So in this particular video, I will be showing you the first screenshot step by step how the process will be done. Later on, I will be showing you in real time how to download an Arduino software and I will be also showing you the two versions. One is the older version as well as one is the newer version. Okay, uh, I will be showing how the graphical user interface has been changed in both the versions. Okay, so in the coming further future classes, further classes, I will also show how to interface uh, uh, Arduino board, okay, physically, okay, to the laptop and how to dump the code and how we are going to observe the output with the simple example we are going to see. So as for now, once you have an Arduino board, okay, we need a cable. So this is a cable. One side you will be having an USB connector and the next side you will be having a D-shape or a D-type connector, okay. Uh, so... It's a uh, standard USB cable used for the Arduino. So for almost all the Arduinos, the cable will be same. According to the boards changing, the cable also differs. Okay. Once you connect the board with this particular cable, we need to download the Arduino software. Okay. So this Arduino software will be easily available in the Arduino official website. So you can, according to your computer configuration, you can easily download the zip file. Okay. This is how it looks while downloading the zip file. So once you download the zip file, you need to install that particular Arduino IDE, okay? So once you install the Arduino IDE, this is how the symbol it shows. So if you see over here, there is a green colored Arduino symbol like this, right? Okay, so this is an <coughs> Arduino uh, file. By clicking on it, you can go directed into the Arduino software. Sometimes you can also uh, download the zip file or you can directly download the uh, .exe package as well, such that the Arduino uh, software will be directly installed into that particular PC, whatever you are using, okay? So once you open that project, you need to create a new project or if at all already a program is existing, you can also open in that existing project, okay? So in order to create a new project, you need to select file and go to new, okay? So this is how it will be done. You need to go to file and click on new. Once, uh, if you click on that new, a new page will be appearing with a name called sketch. Sketch with some, uh, whatever the particular month you are in and whatever the particular date you are in, okay, it will be shown over there. Okay, so you will be having, if you go to examples, you will be having a lot of examples or the programs, okay, where we can test your controller board with respect to these examples, okay, this is how go to files go to from there go to examples in examples you can find a lot of options where you can see many many programs okay so once you select a particular program or write a program you need to select the board okay so there are as a, we have seen there are so many types of Arduino boards right so once you need to go to tools okay and you need to select the board in that particular board you need to select the type of the board as well as the serial port okay so whatever the board 
with the PC what it is communicating. You, there will be showing a communication port, COM port. Okay. You, you also need to select that particular COM port along with the port. I will be showing all those steps, okay, practically also. So once you select the serial port as well, like this, it will be showing some sort of COM ports once the Arduino board is connected. Okay. So to upload the program onto the board, you will be having several options like this. One is stick mark, one is arrow mark, like this. Okay. So once you write the program, one and once you save the program, if you click on this particular tick mark that is indicating as A, if it checks if there is any compilation errors or not. Okay. So once there is no compilation error, you can click on this particular arrow called B. Okay. So it is used to upload the program into the Arduino board. Directly, you can also click on this particular B option such that directly the code can be compiled as well as uploaded onto that particular Arduino board. It's just a uh, shortcut keys, okay? So they also will be having shortcut keys for creating a new sketch, okay? Directly opening the file or saving your sketch, okay? So here sketch indicates whatever the white page in which you are writing the program, that overall page can be considered as your, generally we consider it as an editor, right? Okay, so here in Arduino, we call it as a sketch, okay? So there are so many options as well. See, all these options, let's see, uh, one by one practical, okay? So once you go to the Google or, or type Arduino, Arduino dot CC, okay? So once you click on, type on the Arduino dot CC, it will be directed to the official page, okay? So it's a very useful, uh, a website for all the learners, beginners, as well as programmers or the students or anyone, okay? So you will be having lots and lots of information regarding this particular Arduino boards and its programming and so many projects will be there. So many things will be there, okay? Once go through all these things, okay? So in order to download the software, you need to go to software. Click on the software and here, in the under downloads, you can see the versions, okay? So right now, the latest version is 2.0.4, okay? So already uh, I have already installed the latest version and I already have a, a older version of it, I will be showing. So here, we have several versions with respect to the Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Okay? According to the requirements, you need to click on that particular thing. See, if you want a zip file, you can do it or else if you want a direct uh, a dot executable file later if you want to manually install it you can also do it so see once i click on this particular thing it will be showing the contribute button okay so if you want to contribute some amount you can do it otherwise just click on just download okay so once you click on just download you can see over here the complete dot executable file or the software Arduino software is getting installed okay so once this particular file gets installed, you will be getting an icon kind of thing or the package, Arduino software package, okay? So in which you can, by clicking on it, you can manually install that particular Arduino, okay? So I already have the software, so I'm canceling it, just see. So once I open the Arduino software, this is how it looks, okay? So... If you see over here, there is a sketch. Sketch means that it's an editor where we can write the program with this particular name as well as month. And we can also see the Arduino version 1.8.12. It's the older version we have right now. I'm showing. Later on, I will also show the latest version. So if you see, if I click on file, I will be getting so many options. If you click on new, a new window opens. Or if I click on open, we can see a several already written files over here, okay? And if you go to edit, there are so many options where you can edit that particular uh, sketch, okay? You can increase the font size or you can do so many options. Once you go to sketch, we can see uh, the indirect options, compiling, uploading, okay, all these things. And once you go to the tools, you can see all the serial monitor, serial plotter, and you can also select the type of the board, whatever you want, okay? And once you connect the board to this particular computer, you can see the port will also be enabled, okay? 
So if at all you want to get the board info, you can also get and all these things will be appearing. And uh, as, I've, as I've already said, we have several options. This is verify, like compiling. Once you click on this, the program gets compiled. And once you click on this, the program gets uploaded. Okay. And this is opening a new file. And this is opening already existing file. And this is saving your file. Okay. So if you see the overall new file over here, if you see the overall new sketch over here, you can see only two kinds of structures. One is void setup as well as one is void loop. Okay. So void setup and void loop is mainly used to write the program in the Arduino software or the Arduino IDE. Okay. So these are the two major structures. We will be again discussing what are the structures and all the sticks. Okay. So this is an old version of an Arduino. And let me open the newer version to open. So see, the window has been opened. See, there is a little bit of graphical user uh, interface changes. Okay. So if you see over here, here also we can find file, okay, from which you can create a new sketch, open a sketch, or you can also see several examples over here and all those things, okay. And uh, you can also see a edit option, sketch option, okay. And if you go to the tools, you can also see different types of boards over here, okay, different types of boards over here. And if the board is connected, you can also see the port is getting enabled. Okay. And if you see over here, there are few more options added at the left side. Okay. So this is a sketchbook. This is a board manager. These all are shortcuts which are added in the newer version. Okay. And if you see at the right side, okay, top, you can find a serial plotter and the serial monitor, everything is there. And you have also a bar over here. Once the board is connected, you can directly see the types of boards over here. Okay, and this is uh, old type of buttons. If you click on this, the program gets compiled. And if you click on this, the program gets uploaded to the board. Okay, this is how the whole setup is for newer version. If you see over here, we have opened a new sketch, right? So it is showing a sketch this month, March and 20 of today's date. And the Arduino IDE version is 2.0.4. Okay. As we have not connected any board, it is showing no board selected. Okay. So on the whole, it can be any version of the software. There are only two things in the structure. Void set of what you see over here and the void loop. Okay. And we are going to see what are the structures, data types and several parameters in the further coming classes. Okay. This is how generally an Arduino software or Arduino IDE looks.